Hey everybody, it's Zach, Tennis Pro Doc, helping you improve your game and gear with science. And today it is the brand new ASIC Solution Speed FF2. And I'll tell you what, I am so pumped to review this shoe. And the biggest reason is, because no matter how much play testing, second, third chances, thinking about studying the previous version of the solution speed, I just could not get on the bandwagon with all those people in my comment section telling me how great they thought the shoe was. So I really was excited to see, did ASICs address any of the issues or concerns that I had found about this shoe in the next generation? So let's find out. Now starting in the upper, from a distance they look pretty similar, however coming up close, the FF2 version is quite different, has a lot more polyurethane on the upper, a little more of a cross weave, it's also a lighter upper, and there's more mesh in the upper, however the shoe does still have some breathing difficulties on the infrared test, however it was much more breathable than the original version, so they did take quite a giant leap forward in terms of breathability. Number two, in the lacing system, I will say I did notice not nearly as much heel slippage from the shoe. Now I did use the cat's cradle shoe lacing technique, but you can just tell there's just a little bit more, tiny bit more molding here in the ankle collar that just keeps you in the shoe a little bit better. I didn't notice any heel slippage at all with the FF2 version, whereas on the previous generation solution speed, I was slipping all over the place. Now, speaking of the shoelace line, they do have this DynaWrap technology in the forefoot, similar to the Gel Resolution 8. Now it is just in the forefoot, and I noticed when I was tying the shoe, I really didn't notice much from it. So that actually could just be a little bit of a gimmick. However, overall, I just felt so much more secure, and the uppers never started to click, or I didn't have any of that bending or snapping like I did in the original solution speeds, where if you watch that video, every time I bent my big toe, it was kind of snapping around my big toe joint, and it was super annoying. Whereas on the FF2 version, I never got any of that. All right, so on the upper durability test, Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper, not even a millimeter of damage. This really does have a tough polyurethane upper, and even with all the mesh breathing channels in the forefoot, just how thick that polyurethane up in there, and how strong it is, pretty durable upper. All right, so on the midsole teardown, some pretty interesting changes from the previous generation. You still have the gel stack here in the back of the heel. However, ASICs did take out the gel in the forefoot and then put in some less dense foam here under the ball of the foot instead. Now you do have a pretty big stack here at 2.5 centimeters and only a one centimeter heel to toe drop. So you are getting some pretty thick foam in the forefoot and in the heel on this version, as well as that external shank. So you can fill the midsole with all that foam. All right, so the new solution speeds do come in a clay and an all-court version. The all-court model does have a diverging racing skid pattern with different angles and widths of tread, and this will give you a much better grip than the previous model with all the friction and traction that that creates. However, the clay version, I did find to be equally as good on hard and on clay. However, I will say, if you're a big slider on hard court, do not get the clay version. Even on clay, these treads were digging in so well. Now, I was playing on clay that hadn't been manicured in a while because the facility was under lockdown for a little while and it came back and just wasn't the best clay when I came back and these treads were still digging into them so well so even for a big clay court slider these are going to take a little bit of time to get used to just because they grip so incredibly well now the one thing I do not like about the treads is once again they just don't have much coming up over the toe box on the inside or the medial side of the shoe and so you could burn through a lot of this midsole foam if you are a toe dragger or a hardcore even clay court slider on the durability test, the Dremel 10 seconds highest grit sandpaper, even on the clay treads, not even a millimeter of damage. So both the all court and the clay tread just have unbelievable durability and grip. Now the fit of the Solution Speed FF2 is pretty similar to that of the first generation. It actually is just a tad more generous in the forefoot just by a little bit, but they will fit a narrow, medium, and wide foot. I'd say if you're above a 2E, probably go up a half size, but they do expand incredibly well, but they also give you a little more of that vacuum seal with that Dyna wrap. And like I said, it might be a little bit of marketing there, but I think if you have a narrow foot, you probably could seal that up a bit more to get a more snug fit. Now because of the ASICs flight foam in there and that big Big stack. These are going to be good for somebody with a flatter foot. Now, if you have a higher arch foot while the shoe is new, you're also going to like them a lot. However, with that less dense foam under the ball of the foot, you are going to bottom that out a lot sooner. So if you do have a higher arch foot, maybe put an insert in there just to protect that layer of the less dense foam, or just know that you are going to pummel through that a little faster than somebody with a neutral or flat foot. 
Now playing in the Solution Speed FF2 could not have been more different than in the previous generation. From the moment I took these out of the box, these felt so ultra stable and just with that tad bigger, that hair bigger lateral flange, I felt like I had so much stability when going side to side, when planting, when I was getting low for balls and I was off balance. I really felt like I could get up and go for the next shot, get up and go the other direction. And then when split stepping just felt ultra stable with twist truss system, the stack under there, as well as like I said, that tad bigger flange and with the less heel slippage, especially serving and volleying, I feel like that first step down before I propulsed into the net just felt so sharp and stable. I just didn't feel like I was ever out of control with these. And I think with the choice of treads, you can play with these on just about every surface. And on every surface, you're gonna find that stability and that versatility in these shoes. You can pretty much do anything with them. 14.52 seconds on the suicide test, one of my fastest times recently. And I think the biggest reason for that is number one, the treads just grip so incredibly well. Number two, the shoe is so aerodynamic and light. Now it's not my fastest time that goes to the Lotto Mirage 100. And I think the only difference is the flight foam on the solution speeds, a little less dense, and the shank just isn't as stiff, so you're not getting that crazy energy return. However, still a really fast shoe. On the serve test, 26 centimeters of serve height and 67 centimeters of serve distance, which is pretty middle of the road for most shoes that I've been testing recently, but it's a tremendous increase in the previous solution speeds I tested in the summer at only 14 centimeters. Now, number one, I think I'm just getting better at this test and that accounts for some of the increase. That certainly doesn't account for all of it. I think the biggest difference in that the ankle collar on the FF2 just doesn't allow the heel slippage like the previous model. And that's what's getting me that higher average because instead of my foot moving and then the shoe, so I'm kind of dragging the shoe, the shoe and the foot are now moving in sync. And if I had to describe the Solution Speed FF2 in one word, yeah, you guessed it, it'd be versatility. You can just do everything with this shoe. Every type of player can find something they like in these. If you're a serve and volleyer, you'll love the speed and aerodynamics. If you're a baseline grinder, you'll love the stability and light of footness of these shoes. If you're somebody that likes to hit big shots and really set up and stable for that serve plus one, you're gonna find a lot of stability in these. I would say the only thing I don't like about them is just that little bit of lighter, less dense foam in the floor foot where they took the gel out of there and put the lighter foam in there. If you have a high arch foot after a while, you're going to break them down. However, while these shoes are new and resilient, you're going to love them too. But I think the most interesting part about the Solution Speed FF2 versus its predecessor is that with such small little design tweaks to the shoe, they took a shoe that frankly, I really didn't like very much and turned it into a shoe that I can't wait to play in again. And frankly, I can't wait to recommend to my patients in the office either. And so my heart of stone for the Solution Speed has definitely mellowed. I have to say, I think this is one of the better shoes that have come out in the last few years. And I really can't wait for all of you in the community to try this shoe too. And please let me know your thoughts on the next generation of Solution Speed. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great day, great night, wherever in the world you are tuning in from. I'll see you in the next video.